TV ratings are in for week four of the 2023 USFL season, and the results are very positive. The USFL scored its highest individual game rating since its 2022 league championship last July, which averaged 1.52 million viewers and the largest overall audience since week one of the 2022 season. Thanks partly to a great strategic move of having the league follow the Kentucky Derby on NBC. The lead in helped produce the USFL's most watched game since last season. So week four in the USFL started with a week uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Saturday afternoon game on Fox, the Philadelphia Stars versus Houston Gamblers matchup average 521,000 viewers. Saturday night's Michigan Panthers Memphis Showboats game on NBC averaged 2.063 million viewers, the most watched USFL telecast since the league's championship game in July of 2022, which scored 1.5 million viewers on average. The USFL faced stiff competition on Saturday night head-to-head -head with ABC's uh, NBA playoffs. They had 6 million people watching that, but received a great assist from the Kentucky Derby on NBC, which delivered over 14 million viewers. Immediately following the Kentucky Derby, Saturday's Memphis, Michigan, and a USFL matchup averaged a total audience delivery of 2.06 million viewers to rank as the most watched primetime USFL game since the league debuted in 2022, excluding multi-network simulcasts, all that stuff. Last year, NBC aired the USFL game immediately following the Preakness that averaged 1.2 million viewers, the largest audience of any regular season game of the USFL 2.0 excluding the inaugural weekend. The USFL was back on NBC on Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern. The broadcast pitting two of the league's best teams, the Generals and Breakers, averaged 828,000 viewers. The game was joined in progress slightly after the three o'clock uh, hour due to Major League Baseball game between the Braves and Baltimore Orioles running into extra innings. The final USFL game in week four aired Sunday evening at 6.30 p.m. Eastern on FS1. The cable telecast started on FS2 before switching over. Stallions Mauler's game averaged 545,000 viewers, good for the most watched USFL game on cable since last year's opening weekend. The broadcast ranked 815th out of 150 cable programs on that all important 18 to 49 demographic. So what is the analysis after three weeks of not seeing any of their league's games average over a million? That is good. The USFL bounced back in a big way in week four, Saturday night's audience delivery delivery was a smashing success prior to week four, the USFL averaged 618,000 viewers in their first three weeks. This past weekend averaged 989,200 and 50,000 viewers. USFL's network partnership strategy of airing the USFL after the Kentucky Derby, of course, was brilliant and paid off. The idea, besides the obvious, is to try to lure the casual sports fan to sample the league's product. In the short term, it did the trick, especially in the league's first hour, which averaged over 1.6 million viewers. In year two, the USFL's multiple multi-point strategy is to build off of year one, carry over fans from 2022, and then hopefully attract more sports viewers who are typically on the fence about these leagues to try and come along for the ride. The USFL's exposure on NBC and Fox with three games on broadcast television certainly helps that, but gaining a new audience is the tricky part. The elephant in the room, the absence of the XFL. Both leagues have cannibalized each other's audience since mid-April with games that aired head-to-head -head or overlapped in the same time slot. Having the XFL out of the way certainly helped boost the USFL's weekly average from what, until this point, had been down from the first few weeks of last season. The XFL's return is coming this weekend with their final game of the season, their championship game Saturday night. The good news is that neither game will go head-to-head, -head, so one can imagine this past Saturday night probably would have looked a lot differently had they gone head-to-head. -head. So we got a taste of what the USFL could look like unencumbered this past weekend about the nice boost from the Derby. But nevertheless, it's a positive outlook for the rest of the season's viewership. So week five TV schedule, you have Saturday, two games Saturday, two games Sunday, as always. Maulers, Panthers are 12.30 p.m. on USA. And then the Gambler Stallions are at four on Fox. Then on Sunday, General Stars are at noon on NBC. And then Showboats and Breakers wrap things up at 3 p.m. on Fox.